Association Consulting Engineering Companies of BC put out a call to all of their uh, 90 members uh, asking them to identify the best projects that they've done over the last couple of years. And uh, we get expressions of interest from those companies and then the uh, companies themselves put together the, uh, the award packages. And about six weeks before this event we have a, a judges panel that sits down and goes through all of the submissions, uh, spends a, a full day in terms of uh, determining uh, the relative merits of the uh, of the entries and makes a selection in uh, of either an award of merit or award of excellence in the five different categories. Out of those categories, one is selected as the recipient of the Lieutenant Governor's Award. There's building engineering, municipal engineering, transportation, resource energy and industrial environmental and then there's the soft engineering entry as well and so you can see it covers the cross-section of everything that our members and the engineering community engages in. What's really exciting about these awards is the amount of uh, innovation and uh, creativity that engineers bring to a project. It really is uh, quite remarkable. Some of the solutions that are being presented here tonight to some very challenging uh, circumstances. And what also all of the entries have some degree is, is their commitment to environmental practices. Uh, certainly the engineering community today is, is at the forefront of uh, protecting the environment and coming up with solutions that, that uh, both protect the environment while at the same time moving forward on infrastructure issues and, and projects that are really uh, very important to everyday life for British Columbians. The Association of Consulting Engineers of BC has been around since 1974. Until last year it was known as the Consulting Engineers of BC and we changed the name to reflect the, uh, uh, the broad scope of what we do also to align with the, uh, with the National Association of Consulting Engineers. So the, uh, we have 90 members, uh, we employ about 10,000 individuals uh, engaged in, in all aspects of engineering and uh, we generate, uh, our members generate about three billion dollars worth of uh, consulting fees. What's particularly interesting is about 30 percent of those fees are generated from engineers doing work outside the province in, in either other provinces or indeed around the world. This is the 24th anniversary of the Awards of Excellence. Every year we're very impressed by the, uh, the level of entries and uh, it's a fun night uh, for where the engineers come out. Uh, tonight is it's boogie fever and uh, it'll be celebrating the 70s but uh, in terms of uh, just bringing a bit of fun where everybody can get together, uh, do some networking and, and celebrate excellence. The Lieutenant Governor's Award for Engineering Excellence goes to Osenko with Bush, Bowman and Harvest Limited, Jennifer, and Pete Jones for Stofferson Limited for Seismic Retrofit. Our challenges really were, in some respects, patience. Uh, I chair a committee that is practicing engineers and academics at UBC and, and uh, external peer reviewers uh, from California. Three very diverse groups of people. And the challenge is to create these seismic retrofit guidelines that engineers and contractors can use all over the province. So when we do these upgrades, they're cost effective and they make sense. So quite frankly, some of the bigger challenges as chair was to keep the peace in the meetings, very divergent opinions and thoughts. Uh, we've been doing this now for Gosh, I think uh, seven or eight years. Um, it started in about 2004. We really got some inertia going with some Ministry of Education contracts about five or six years ago. And uh, we have done some seismic upgrades of buildings uh, using these programs. Other engineers have designed them using these retrofit guidelines. We're now at a point where we've done a lot of research, both analytically and physically. And we're at a point where now we've got guidelines that can be used to continue to upgrade schools in an effective uh, method.